Rumor mills around E3 time are always a treat to listen to. The most outlandish rumors suddenly become believable. The most logical things tend to present all sorts of twists and turns. There's even a new console that will be unveiled this year with Project Scorpio, and Lord knows if it will have any worthwhile games. Exciting, we tell you. But honestly, with the number of things that are constantly rumored, year in and year out, something interesting is always bound to happen at E3. Who knows, maybe The Elder Scrolls 6 is announced, which is most assuredly not happening, by the way. Let's take a look at 15 games rumored to be appearing at E3 2017, the credible reasons behind the same, and whether you should look forward to them or not. The Evil Within 2 A leaked job listing emerged as early as March 2017 about QA and translation for Psycho Break 2. Target hardware is the Xbox One and PS4. Of course, Psycho Break is the Japanese name for The Evil Within, so this pretty much points to The Evil Within 2 being in development. It's also worth noting that Bethesda VP of PR and Marketing Pete Hines talked about Rage and The Evil Within both doing well enough to warrant sequels. Maybe E3 2017 is the place where one of those comes to light? As it stands, the world could always use more survival horror games with searchlight-headed femme fatales and insta-kill mechanics. Wolfenstein The New Colossus this one's a bit trickier. We know that Wolfenstein The New Order from Machine Games in 2014 was a success. Instead of a sequel though, it was followed up by a sort of expansion in the form of The Old Blood in 2015. Which, let's be honest, it was fun, but not necessarily a whole new game. The developer has since been quiet, though last year saw the retro DOS startup screen for Bethesda's E3 presser mention something called The New Colossus. A new Wolfenstein was further teased by Brian Bloom, who voiced protagonist BJ Blazkowicz. Bloom specifically referred to that startup screen and noted that maybe, just maybe, something related to that was being worked on. Given that Bethesda's release calendar for the next two years is looking kind of bare, it would make sense for Wolfenstein The New Colossus to appear at E3 2017. Red Dead Redemption 2 at Sony's Presser Rockstar already announced that Red Dead Redemption 2 was delayed to Spring 2018. This was pretty much a given since we got next to no information about the game since its announcement late last year. However, there's still a chance that we could see it at E3 2017, specifically during Sony's presser. Sony and Rockstar have an agreement to provide PS4 owners with first access to select online content in Red Dead Redemption 2. Given how Rockstar provided new screens for the sequel, Perhaps an actual gameplay trailer could be saved for E3, along with information on the select online content. Either way, we don't expect a concrete release date, especially since a new release window was just provided. New Metroid Games Retro Studios has been busy making awesome Donkey Kong games for Nintendo, but where's the love for Metroid? If rumors are to be believed, and with Nintendo telling fans to be patient regarding a new Metroid, then Metroid Prime 4 could be announced at E3. Nintendo insider Super Metal Dave 64 noted that Metroid Prime 4 would indeed be announced, but that another new Metroid title would also be unveiled. The latter will apparently be handled by a different studio and not Retro. Whatever it may be that Retro is working on, noted insider Emily Rogers believes it will arrive in 2018 due to the developer having a packed schedule through 2017. BioWare's Project Dylan slash Dragon Age 4 What's up over at BioWare? Well, several things. Dragon Age 4 is apparently a thing according to its writer, but BioWare is also busy working on a new IP. We've heard whispers of this new IP and how it takes elements of The Division and Destiny, perhaps providing a shared world experience for players. We also know that said IP, codenamed Dylan, has been delayed. A reveal for one of these seems likely, and who knows, Dylan may even get a final name. Then again, why not have Dragon Age 4 arrive late next year while Dylan fills the early quarter? Again, that's all speculation. For now, it's safe to say that Bioware will have some kind of E3 presence, if only for the next Dragon Age. Microsoft's marketing for AAA title Microsoft hasn't come out and admitted to this. The news actually came from renowned industry insider Shinobi602. The man said that Microsoft will be doing marketing for an unannounced AAA title. This indicates that it's not an exclusive through and through, but perhaps more of a timed exclusive. It could also be something like Destiny where Microsoft is handling the brunt of marketing and receiving timed DLC content ahead of other platforms. Now as for what game it could be, E3 holds the answer as per our favorite insider, so we're going to have to wait to find out. Sucker Punch's next game Another developer we haven't heard from in a while is Sucker Punch. The minds behind infamous Second Son released the standalone expansion First Light, and since then, it's been keeping things on the down low. However, according to industry insider T-Dux, Sucker Punch will be showcasing a new short teaser at E3 for the PS4 and PS4 Pro. Could it be another infamous? 
the new part of that tweet could be interpreted in different ways after all. Regardless, Sucker Punch has always been a developer worth watching out for. We'll see what E3 has in store, and hopefully, it'll be a game that's out by 2018 at the latest. Super Smash Bros. on the Switch During its April Nintendo Direct presentation, Nintendo revealed three new amiibos in the form of Cloud Strife, Corrin from Fire Emblem, and Bayonetta. The kicker is that they're all in Super Smash Bros., which thus feeds into rumors that the game will be heading to the Nintendo Switch. It could be a situation similar to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, with Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U receiving a Deluxe release on the Switch. Considering how late it released in the Wii U's lifespan, it wouldn't be odd for Nintendo to port it over. Since the company has stated time and again that it wants its most popular franchises on the Switch, a Super Smash Bros. Deluxe reveal at E3 2017 doesn't seem too far-fetched. Pokemon Stars What is Pokemon Stars? As per rumors, it's the next Pokemon game. Now now, there is more to it than that. Recent Japanese merchandise appeared for the same with the tagline, Look Upon the Stars, with various Pokemon presented as constellations. Rumors via Eurogamer also indicated that it will arrive by 2017N. The real questions are A, will it appear at E3 2017, and B, can we expect it for the Nintendo 3DS or the Switch? A cross-platform title certainly seems possible, much like Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U and 3DS was. Time will tell, so pay close attention to Nintendo's E3 events. New Splinter Cell Apparently, Ubisoft doesn't just have Far Cry 5, Assassin's Creed Origins, The Crew 2, and South Park The Fractured But Whole for its E3 presser. It also has a new Splinter Cell that was hinted as far back as August 2016 to showcase. Rumors started about Michael Ironside returning to reprise his role as Sam Fisher and how the leaker in question met him at the time. Fisher's last adventure was in 2013 with Splinter Cell Blacklist, so the timing is pretty good for another game in the series. Beyond Good and Evil 2 For years upon years, Ubisoft has confirmed and reconfirmed that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is in development. In fact, the most recent announcement was in November 2016, when creator Mitchell Ansell said the game was a very serious development for Ubisoft. Insider Laura K. Dale further revealed in January 2017 that the game would be a timed exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. After a year, it would arrive for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. This does fit the narrative of Ubisoft having other titles in mind for the Switch. However, given how Dale wrongly predicted the sequel's teaser being at the Nintendo Switch reveal event in January, it remains to be seen how legitimate the rumors are. Bethesda's Unannounced Open World Games we know about the respective projects from Tango Gameworks and Machine Games, namely The Evil Within 2 and Wolfenstein The New Colossus. However, Bethesda has announced last year that it was working on three huge open-world games. The games themselves are still unknown, and rumors have been running rife about a new Fallout, possibly a spin-off like New Vegas. We're skeptical for a number of reasons, but there's no denying that Bethesda Game Studios has to offer something other than Fallout 4 VR at E3 2017. Then again, it could be other studios under Bethesda making these open-world games. Could that trademark for Fallout New Orleans be the key to all this? E3 should clear everything up in good time. From Software's New Games the Dark Souls and Bloodborne developer has to be one of the most interesting studios currently heading into E3 2017. It's already known to be working on a new Armored Core, which has yet to be announced. However, it has two more new games in development, which are still unknown. Then there's the rumor going around that Bloodborne 2 will be announced for the PS4. Since Sony published the first game, it's not impossible, but with From Software apparently being done with the Souls series for the near future, you have to wonder what's up. Regardless, what are those two new titles and will they actually be at E3? The wait continues. New Batman Game Rumors of a new Batman game have been going on for a while now. There were talks of it possibly starring Damian Wayne, Batman's biological son. Recently, it was leaked by Kotaku's Jason Shareer that the project has been rebooted and Damian's presence as the protagonist is no longer certain. Then there was the supposed disgruntled Warner Brothers employee who leaked information about something called Arkham Insurgency on Reddit, with the post since being removed. Apparently in development at Warner Brothers Montreal, Arkham Insurgency will take place before the main trilogy, but three years after Arkham Origins. It will also have the Court of Owls as the antagonistic faction, and Dick Grayson's Robin as a playable sidekick for Batman. Take all of this with a grain of salt though, because honestly, it could just as easily not appear. Cyberpunk 2077 there haven't been many rumors surrounding Cyberpunk 2077. It's pretty funny when you think about it because we've seen next to nothing about Cyberpunk 2077 since it was announced to be in development. Would it make sense for CD Projekt Red to at least tease some information at E3 2017? 
or will it simply wait until it has working gameplay before really going all in, if for nothing else than to avoid the downgrade controversy that The Witcher 3 had? Though it's highly unlikely to appear, we still can't help but hope that Cyberpunk 2077 rears its head. Even a little cameo by Siri wouldn't hurt. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.